Hey, what's going on, beer tubers? It's Jeff back with another Hefe Head beer review. Um, I know at the end of my other video I said I was going to make one right away, but it took like 30 minutes to analyze that video for image stabilization, and then I was exhausted, so I decided to go to bed. But I'm back, and I've got Terrapin Rye Squared up on tap. Um, it's part of their Monster Beer Tour, which is just a lineup of, honestly, their amazing beers. Um, I've had their... There's about, I think there's four or five, I think there's five in it, in it. so that it's, uh, for their winter, they have the, um, it used to be called Wake and Bake, but they changed it to um, their Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, um, and that one's just amazing, I had that one last year, and I just loved it, um, it should be coming out um, in the upcoming months or so, then they've got their Monk's Revenge, which is kind of a weird beer, it's a Belgian IPA, Saison um, mix, not really my favorite, but I like where their head's at. It's pretty interesting. Then they've got their uh, hoppy, big hoppy monster or hoppy red monster or something like that, and that's an imperial red ale. Um, kind of didn't like that one. That was just <clears throat> it was it had it was intense malt, but it was like almost medicinally sweet. And then they've got gamma ray, which I will be trying hopefully in the upcoming month or so. Um, and then we've got the Rye Squared. Um, I've also got a Pumpkin Fest that I want to try, and I've got their Reunion beer. Um, and I've got Indiana Crunkles. I forgot about that. This is honestly in one of my top favorite, um, top three favorite breweries, uh, along with Dogfish Head. And I'm not quite sure who else rounds out that top three, but really excited about this one. It comes in at 8.5% alcohol. It says Vintage 2011. And on their website, it says you can age these, but I don't know. So it says it's an imperial pale ale, so I guess they, basically what it is, here I'll read what it says right here, with twice the malts, twice the hops, and twice the flavor of Terrapin's award-winning rye pale ale, the rye square teaches you a lesson in good taste. So it's basically a double recipe of their, of their normal rye pale ale, which is a really great beer, I really enjoy that one, I think that was the first rye beer I ever had, um, it was really good, so a lot of, a lot of breweries are starting to do that with it, double their recipes, um, New Belgian did one with the Super Crew, and I heard really bad things about that, so hopefully this one is nothing like that. But let's uh, crack it open and see what it's like. Mm, having a little bit of difficulty. There it goes. See, it's got this normal terrapin cap. If you get if you get terrapin beer and it has their um, the gold cap on it. I think that that means that it was contract brewed by another brewery. But I've got my terrapin glass here. Um, hopefully, don't make fun of me because it's not a traditional glass or whatever. But I really liked this one, and they sell it for like twelve dollars on their website or something like that. And I got it for like two bucks. So really excited about that one. All right, it's already got some good foam going on up in here. So let's see. Let's get this poured and see how it is. All right, I can already smell the rye from here. If you look at the color, it's kind of orangey, coppery. It's got a nice little bit of hop haze in it. Um, a little bit darker than I think would a lot of um, pale ales or double IPAs are, but that's okay. It probably just means that it has a good hop balance. I'm um, at a good uh, malt balance for all the the hops. It's got a little bit of a almost tan head. Um, didn't really stick around kind of dissipated, it was a little bit less than a finger anyway, so it's not much, but it looks, looks pretty tasty. Alright, for the smell, definitely getting a lot of hops, um, nice citrus, piney notes. Oh, I'm not really smelling too much of the rye right now, really just getting mainly the, um, the hops, but it's not like in your face hops, it's kind of a little subdued, um, subdued, subdued, that's the word. But um, it's still kind of cold, so maybe it'll come out a little bit once it warms up. All right, well, cheers. It's good to taste. Wow. That's interesting. Initially, I'm getting all those hops that you normally would get with a pale ale, but then towards the end, you're getting a massive, massive hop sweetness, and you're definitely getting all that rye in there, and it's really leaving your tongue kind of sticky almost, not really uh, have as much of the drying effect uh, that a lot of the hops have, 
Um, I mean, a lot more hoppy beers. Yeah, it's really, really sweet, actually. The hops aren't over, hardly getting any hops at all. And like I said, it's really leaving your mouth sticky, but it's not, it's definitely not as sweet as the big hoppy monster. Um, but honestly, these beers have some intense malt backbone, um, which I wouldn't really expect from an I imperial pale ale, if that's even a real style. I guess it's like in between a double pale ale and a or the double IPA and an IPA or something, I don't know. Whatever, it's pretty much their own style. Yeah, that's really good, it's really interesting. Um, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit and then we'll uh, come back and give you the final verdict. Okay, and I'm back, it's been about 20 minutes or so, um, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but I've had a couple sips of it and it's really starting to open up. Hops are a lot more present in the smell and it just, I mean, you're still getting, still getting some of the rye, but in the smell, it's mainly just the hops. You're getting a little bit of alcohol um, in the smell too, not too much, um, but it's it's definitely there. And tastes really starting to, really starting to even out. Um, you're getting a lot more of the hops, and so it's not as, it's getting a little bit more drying on the tongue, um, towards the end of the taste, and it's, it's really it's. Re it's a lot better now than it was uh, before. Before I said it was almost too sweet. Um, now it's it's close, but not not really too sweet. Um, but it's definitely there's definitely a lot of, lot of rye that's got more um, than than what I'm used to. I haven't had very many um, rye beers, but um, of the ones I've had, this is uh, this is really good. I'm gonna say it's not as good as Hop Rod Rye, but it um, definitely is my second favorite of the. Monster Beer Tour um, beers from Terrapin yet, so I'm gonna give it a C plus B minus. I'm gonna give it right at an 80. Um, it's really good. It's just the the sweetness thing is kind of holding it back a little bit. Um, uh, I'm definitely gonna enjoy the rest of this one, but I couldn't see myself sitting down and having another one or two of these uh, in the same night. Um, so that's the only thing that's going to be holding it back. Um, but it's really a great beer. Um, really enjoying it. Um, I'll probably come back with my next review being um, the Greater Pumpkin from um, Heavy Seas, um, Clipper City. Um, and until then, cheers.